I want you to write down what the fuck you want. And if you don't know, that's what you're here for, is to figure out what you want. Now I'm gonna share with you mine. I could name a million things, and really good answers, by the way, just like yours. The answer was great. The answer, it's not the answer that was wrong, but it wasn't deep enough. What do you want? I have a wife, she's actually here. I have four daughters. I know, it's a lot. And I constantly, pretty much almost every day, I think about what do I want? And the answer is so fucking clear. Every time I wake up, it's that I want to be in the emotion of happiness as much as I possibly can. That's it. I don't care about money, I don't care about fame, I don't care about materialistic shit, I just want to be happy as much as possible. And it's an emotion, so it's not something that will remain, but essentially I want to have that as much as I possibly can until I die. Now knowing what I want, I can go backwards and I can start to create the life that I want that will create the time that I want to be happy. This makes me happy, that makes me happy, doing this, doing that. But essentially, I can't do any of that shit if I don't even know what I want. Now your answer that you gave is, is connected to, I wanna grow my business and I wanna have this, and so the answer's good. But when I'm asking you to do this and what I'm asking you to write down on that paper is the same answer that you should have every single day that you wake up. It shouldn't change. What you want is so deep within you that you don't even have the choice to say what it is. And you should figure that out. And if you don't know, then I'm gonna challenge you to figure out what that is. So when I came up here, and by the way, I'm gonna have you come, come back up before I end. When I came up here, or came out here, I didn't know what I wanted to talk on. I'm never very prepared. And about 30, 30 minutes before I left to come out here, my uncle showed up at my house. He looks exactly like my father. It was really weird. My dad passed away 15 years ago. No, 14, I'm 35. Um, and I thought, I was listening to him talk about my dad. We were talking about stuff. And it brought back a memory as to why I live my life the way that I live. And it's something that I want to share with you guys. When I was 21 years old, my dad was really sick. Um, I just got back from a, a, a Mormon mission. And my dad laid in our living room dying. And I specifically remember the day that he died. I knelt in front of him. I held his hand. And... He wasn't coherent, uh, but he was breathing, and I know he could hear me. And I remember thinking, man, he's really old. He was only 47. I'm like, shit, that's not very old. And I remember thinking, you think he regrets dying this early? Do you think he has any regrets? And I laid there with him, holding his hand on his deathbed. So I had an experience when I was 21 years old about laying in a bed with a man who was my father and having a deathbed experience. I got to tell you, that will fuck you up. But it can also change everything for you, and that's what it did for me. That's why I'm at where I'm at and doing what I want to do and essentially tied to one thing, and that's I only want to do in this life what I want. And if I don't know what the fuck it is, how am I going to be able to do it? So essentially, he passed on, and I have lived my life with a, a motto that actually I just found out had a, 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 a label. Uh, ha, has anybody heard memento mori? You guys heard that saying before? I think it's Japanese. I don't know. I'm going to sound stupid if it's not Japanese. But... Anyways, it means remember this is mortality. Remember you're going to die. Now, I sat with a man at 47 years old that laid on his deathbed. I don't know if he had any regrets. My dad was a good guy. But I sure as fuck know he didn't do everything he wanted to do. And from that time forward, I vowed that I would only do the things that made me happy because that's all I fucking wanted 
Whether it was money, whether it was time with my children, whether it was time with my wife, whether it was me time, I would only do shit that I wanted to do. And every single day, and this is not a joke, I don't just say this as a cliche, every single day that I wake up, I literally think, today could be my last day. And the truth is, as you guys look around the room, I'll bet you somebody in here is clicking very soon to the end day. And that's surreal as fuck. That's sobering. Someone in here is not going to see next month or maybe next year. And if you can actually take that and comprehend it and digest it, every fucking thing in your life changes. Everything. Because all this stupid stuff that you worry about, all the stupid stuff that you focus on becomes real. It, it, doesn't, even become, it doesn't even become real. It's so fake. Because when you lay on your deathbed, and, and I don't want to pick on, I forgot your name. Aaron, I don't want to pick on Aaron. But if you lay on your deathbed and I asked you that same question, it wouldn't be that answer. It wouldn't. What do you want or what did you want in life? Or as you lay here, what was it that you wish you would have had? I'm going to give you an answer. I'm going to give you a sec. Give me one second because I'm going to let you shout it from the rooftop because I can tell you got a good answer now. But if I live my life like I'm going to die because we all are fucking going to die. I become everything that I want. And the truth is, is that at some point, next week, next year, in 10 years, I'm going to lay on my deathbed. And I, I can guarantee everybody in this room and anybody who knows me, I will lay there with zero fucking regret. I will say, I did everything I wanted to do. I lived exactly the way that I wanted to live. I did what I wanted to do, period, end of story. I pissed some people off. I made great relationships. I lived and did, and I'm fucking ready to go. And if I can accept that, and I believe that, everything in my life changes. And that is exactly what I want to portray to you guys. As you write down in your books, hey, what is it that I want? I hope you realize you will be gone. Your family, everything you know, it's gone and done. Life's over. You get one fucking shot. My dad's shot was 47 years. I'm betting there's people in here older than 47. And if we can look at life like that, rather than something in the, the far distance that's going to happen, our perspective will change.